In this video, I'll be showing the progress of my art piece. I didn't get a lot of clips out of this one, so the video is very, very short, but I did get a majority of the progress in the short period of time that I had <clears throat> to make this uh, painting. Um, but still, I hope you enjoy the video anyway. If you are not subscribed, please like and subscribe to the video. It does help a lot, and I really hope you enjoy the progress of this video. Right off the bat, I had this camera sitting in my room, staring at me, and I'm staring right back at it because I bit more than I can chew. I drew so many stinking blocks on this canvas that I realized that I forgot, hey, I gotta draw this. I have the canvas, I need to finish this. Um, but I pushed through and I just took it step by step and one by one of each block. The way that I paint, I basically, I take one color and I painted each block and then I finished it just like that. Cause I felt it was a lot faster to do it that way. Um, I have one of those paint trays, but I like taking it out straight out of the tube. I think it's a lot easier for me, especially because I am, I don't need so much paint when I'm painting drips on the block. It took a lot of time out of my day to do so. Um, on this day, I had a date night to go watch Oppenheimer with my husband, but ended up watching Barbie, and that was a doozy for myself. I literally left that movie theater rethinking my life, which is not, is not an excuse, that's what I'm going to say next, but I did take a couple days off, and then after that, this masterpiece came out. I swear, me and him in the room felt like it was a movie after listening to the song, but obviously not. <laughs> oh my god, I cannot. And so, as you can see, my face, I'm tired of painting this. <laughs> I'm gonna be real with you, it was mad repetitive. But I guess it was like a good challenge for myself. Um, I guess in a way, of, like I said earlier, bit, biting more than I can chew. Um, at this point, I clean up everything in the box and then I'm cleaning up all in the between with the green color for the background color. Ooh, look at that straight line that was pretty cool and then my favorite part was outlining it but i was feeling mad confident until like all the ones started bleeding into each other i had to whip out that that ruler and don't make fun of my ruler okay it's broken i'll get a new one don't mind it all right but i had to whip out that ruler because there's a lot of the blocks that i kind of painted overlapping each other and i couldn't make sense out of it I don't know why I did that way. I literally confused the heck out of myself. So I totally forgot that I had Alexa. So I had Alexa play all my favorite songs. <laughs> And then one of my favorite songs came on from 2008's Twilight by Paramore. And I literally felt like I was in a Sam Raimi movie. I don't know what that was. That was such a poor whatever. But at this point, I'm doing more outlining for the green dots. And I sat there and did it over and over 
and over again until I got to somewhat of this point of my canvas that all of it was filled. And then I use this. This paint right here, if you're looking to basically have smooth outlining, smooth paint period, this is the paint to use. I'll put it in my description box. Um, my mom got it for me as a gift, which she is a holy grail for that because that paint right there is amazing. And basically just doing like little highlights because I think it's really cool. Over time when I was doing this, it was like, trust the process. And trusting the process was the best thing you can possibly do. And I keep forgetting to do that when I am painting. Um, going through that ugly stage is really, really hard. I hope you had a lot of fun watching the progress as much as I enjoyed making this painting and watching the progress myself. And now it's time to reveal.